Hello guys, and do you know who I am? <laughs> and guys, I'm just gonna take this thing off very quick. <laughs> guys, this is very, very important these days. If there's an urgent problem that you need to go out of the house, make sure you wear one of these, which are filtered, just so you don't get sick or anything. Because everybody knows Corona is here and nobody wants to get the disease. So make sure you get face masks and gloves just to make sure you don't get anything. Okay guys, so I was inspired by some people who decided to make this idea which was an automatic soap. All you need to do is just put your hand but on the IR sensor and then the soap will automatically come on your other hand. And it's very simple just because, you know, Corona, we, we can't really touch a lot of things right now. So that's why this is really good. All you need to do is just hover and done. So I was inspired. It was very interesting, amazing and a very cool and important project to make and i'm gonna show you guys how it works and hopefully i made it correctly who knows okay guys so now we're gonna be testing it so of course i have added two servo motors one here one here this one goes this way this one goes this way i've added very strong wires and let's test it if it works for the moving okay so it moves perfect and now i'm gonna put the wire on here and let's see if the soap actually works okay so now we have to put the wire on this fossil just to see if it works so uh-huh mm -hmm. and done now let's see the finale if it works yes or no three two one <laughs> Oh my god, what is that sound? That sounds so scary. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, the wire was maybe a bit too short. Or maybe the fossil is just too strong and needs a lot of pressure. Because these motors weren't really made for like the strongest and toughest things. But let's try that again just to make sure. There's this sound, which is really hard. Let's keep trying. Uh, it turns out that no soap has actually came out and if you guys have any suggestions how to improve this maybe actually make it work try it out for yourself and comment down below if you if you want to help me of how to improve this thing okay guys, i think we should have a closer look okay so the server motor is perfectly working still going 180 degrees around perfect i added some batteries to give the server motors extra power so it's perfectly working this is the ir sensor perfectly working as well and i'm just gonna keep trying it just to show you that everything is perfectly working so of course you see that the servo motor is working of course i think this is a mechanical issue if you guys have some suggestions of maybe that this can fix please share your comments and please could you help me to fix this mechanical issue so again of course i think this is a mechanical issue please help me and please share your comments down below just so we can fix this so nobody can get sick because nobody wants to get sick of course in every video there's something my favorite part and this time it's kind of missing you guys have to guess it it's my favorite part and just get some time make sure you refresh your brain and guess it. well if you guessed that this is the soft report then you're correct so let's get right into it and we are using pixel blocks just because it's easy because i barely understand c and c plus plus so this is the whole code that we're using is there anything else no this is the whole code yes okay so our arduino uno starts up is gonna loop forever then it's gonna start reading the ir sensor we are using two micro servos we are using two micro servos and if there is and if our hands are not touching the ir sensor so the angle is gonna be set on zero so guys uh when so it's else and when we put our hands on the on the ir sensor it's gonna make the micro server go 90 degrees angle and that's it please don't forget to help me with the mechanical issue just so this can work bye bye i'll see you in another video